Hi, thanks for checking out this video. Uh, we're going to work on So May It Secretly Begin by Pat Metheny. And so uh, I'm going to play through it, and then I'm going to explain a little bit about playing. So this is mostly just the, uh, the aspect of, of where on the guitar you're going to play the melody and that kind of thing. And we'll just cover strictly that. So most of these notes will show up also on the, on the screen there. I can't guarantee that all of them will show up. Um, but you can definitely watch my fingers for reference on the notes. All right, well, let's get started. Okay, so we're um, beginning here. At the beginning, I play this this part was just not necessarily uh, necessary to play. You can let the bass player pay, play that, and um, but it's a little pattern. If you wanted to play that, you could play that. Um, and then we're gonna start here, um, kind of in the lower register, and play. Um, and this is not necessarily the exact spots where Pat Metheny might play it, but um, you could check out in playing live. But it's the basic idea of the melody. Okay, so you have that. And then we're going to go up a little higher. play down here. So we're pretty low. So you could try adding some chords and maybe bringing that melody note up, up an octave. But I just ended up playing it down there. And uh, so then we take it up an octave. So we play. So we have that again, but an octave higher this time. And then the second time I'm playing some chords underneath. OK, so um, now we go into this uh, next segment. And we're going to play F into uh, D flat. 
and then C into A flat. I'm going to play uh, F minor into D flat. Okay. And now we play this. And then we go back to, um, to what we played previously. Okay, and then we're playing this. So sorry if some of those notes aren't showing up on the screen there, but uh, hopefully you're getting the idea. Um, and then, so I played it as if it was the last time through and, and ending it. So that, what I just played, that would lead you into the solos. But then uh, if you're ending it, you kind of tag that part. So Okay, so you do that, and then you play it again. And then you go into D flat there for a second. So you've got that C melody note on top, and then you can go into C minor to end it. Okay, so hopefully this gives you a little bit of an idea of um, how you might play it and um, what you might try to do um, as far as uh, playing it on the next. So certainly go, uh, go to the source and listen to Pat Metheny and um, watch videos of him. There are a few uh, live performances of him playing this on YouTube and things like that. So you, if you want to get an exact idea where he's going. Uh, another thing that's, that's sort of interesting that he does, I think, in some of the videos is um, that last time through after the bridge, it kind of goes up, you know, does this little, um, or slide into that G, something along those lines. All right, well, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel to uh, see more of this content, learn more tunes, and learn more about um, music theory. I might even have some videos on this tune with the, the theory behind it. This, this tune in particular is really great for uh, studying uh, modes as they relate to C because they have this little uh, kind of shifting of the modes uh, above this, this C note or the tonic note of C minor. Um, so that's really interesting in that way. All right, so um, thanks for watching and I hope you have a great practice session.